Hello guys, my name is Desert Tiger and welcome to episode 17 of Green Project. As you may know, or may not, uh, last episode I finished next to the special tree, the tree called Haltron tree. What's, why is this thing so important? Well, the Haltron tree can spawn the grapes. And this is the like Haltron tree look like in the early stage. And this is how Haltron tree looks like in full stage and spawns grapes. Why the grapes now so important? Well, the grapes gonna make time useless. So basically what you can do with the grapes, you can take the grapes, make a wine and drink the wine. And the wine is gonna decrease, not like time, minus 20 radiation points, but the wine is gonna decrease by minus 50 uh, radiation points. Plus gonna give you plus 50 of water points and it's gonna also give you plus 10 food. So which is awesome. <laughs> and how you can get that Houtron tree seed? Well, from the crow, he will drop white stuff, you know what it is. And when you pick it up, most of the time you're gonna get the organic waste, but also you will get uh, two type of seeds. And these seeds are onion seed and pumpkin seed, but you may also get Houtron tree tree seed. And then you can plant it and it's gonna that basically I call it this bush and that will spawn with grapes and you just collect the grapes and you need at least five grapes to put in the fermentation barrel. This is the fermentation barrel. They call it wine barrel, so just place it. I'm gonna place two of these and so I put the grapes in the bar and just gonna wait. That's gonna take 24 game hours that fermentation will be done and then we're gonna get a bottle of wine. Very simple. Okay I'm gonna show you how to make wine barrel so you just click on the table, go to farming and there's a wine barrel so you have to have organic waste, you need the planks, nails and the hammer and we got the wine barrel. Alright, so let's put the barrel. So not only you can place the grapes in the bars, but also you can make a seeds from the grapes. Basically, just take one grape, put in this seed sorter, and we're gonna drop 20 seeds of grapes and you can plant it and have a big plantation of grapes. Alright, I'm gonna give you updates on my tree of life. As you may know, the late the last episode we upgraded our tree of life and now we need dead animals and I already donated 14 pigs, 4 chickens and 19 rats. There's still some stuff to go, plus I need to increase my I'm keep increasing my green point factor. I got 272 out of 330, 350. But I'm gonna show you what's up with the animals. As you may notice, I put two chickens. I put two rats and two pigs and we got two, still we have two pigs and we have one little one. So that's only three pigs so far, and, but we have here, we have a bunch of chickens and lots of rats. So what that means, that means if you want to breed, the best way to breed is to breed the chickens and the rats. Pigs, on the other hand, just build the traps. After all, you just need 50 pigs. So you need to make basically 25 traps. You can build less if you want to try to breed the pigs, but it's going to take forever. And I'll show you the reason. If I, bu I build some bunch of traps and look how many pigs I got. This is one of the chests. That's how many pigs I got. But this is not everything. Check this one. I got even more pigs. And what else? I even use some pigs to make boiled ham. That's the highest point of food in the game, plus 200. And before we're gonna end up the, this episode, I completely forgot about the cat. I forgot to feed the cat. So let's take a look at our cat. See, he already ate nine rats, he needs one more. So let's grab the one extra rat. 
And we got one rat in the dead, our trap, so we're gonna just pick her up. Our, before we're gonna feed our cat, first we're gonna build a basket for him. All right, okay, so let's build a basket for our cat. So we have to go to husbandry and scroll down and you see cat basket and basket requires some cloth, which is only five pieces. Lots of hay, 99 and 10 branches. All right, we have a cat basket, but before we're gonna place it, let's feed our cat with the dead rat. This is the last one. So this is how you tame the cat. You have to give him 10 rats. So let's give the last one. And he's supposed to be tamed and he follow us wherever we go. And if he's gonna spot the lizards, squirrels or beetles, he's gonna attack them and kill them. And of course, eat them too. So if you're hunting for squares, I suggest you leave the cat alone. I mean, leave the cat in your house. And one way is to do it is to using the cat basket. Basically, you place cat basket. Yeah, that's good. That's a good place. Just place cat basket on the ground and left left click on the cat basket. Not on the cat. Come on, kitty. On the basket. So it's gonna jump to the basket and he's gonna sleep. But also if there will be like nearby beetle, lizards or square, he's gonna walk walk up and attack and kill it and go back to sleep. So if you want to like protect the time, just place the basket near the your time and he will protect the time from all the beetles. And that will be all for today's episode thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy it and see you next time bye bye take care